Hey guys, we are in Colonial Williamsburg and it's cold. It's a little bit chilly. <laughs> yeah. We are staying at the Williamsburg Lodge, which is right behind us. And we are about to actually go check into our room. It's already ready, which we're pretty excited about because it's yeah. early. It's 10 a.m. And then we're going to have lunch here. And it's really nice they have a concierge desk so we can get our annual passes activated here. Pretty exciting. So we're going to be here all day today and all day tomorrow. Yep. So it should be fun. We checked into our room and we're headed over to eat in the main lobby area. So our room is in that building, which is awesome because Colonial is literally like right over in here. And we got a corner room, which Brian noticed, which is lucky because we got more windows. Yeah, the really tiny windows. Tiny, tiny windows. It is very Colonial style, no doubt about it. Here's what the lobby looks like. They got a nice Christmas tree. I think where we're eating is down here. Yep, here it is. Traditions. Here's what the inside looks like. And they start serving lunch at 11, but she said there's a buffet at noon. We are seated in this dining room. This place is huge. It had like many, many dining rooms. So here's what the lunch... Sorry about the light. The light's really strange in here. We can try that. Thanks, Brian. Here's what the lunch menu looks like. And there's a buffet, which I mentioned is at noon. And then here's the food. They basically have salads and sandwiches for lunch. But if you notice, they have a ton of gluten-free options, which is super nice. They can be made gluten-free. Right. We got our food and I got the shaved roast beef on gluten-free bread, which is awesome. Well, yeah, and out. you could pick uh, fries, fruit, or chips. So I got the fruit looks were really good. And Brian got the... Um, what is that? The mushroom Roasted sandwich? Mushroom, yep. Roasted mushroom, so that's vegetarian and fries. We just finished our meal at Traditions for lunch. What did you think? Oh, it's tasty. It's good. Yeah, mine was very good, but a little on the messy, greasy side. Yeah, they buttered the They buttered toast. the outside of the bread. which Really heavily. <laughs> it, it tastes fine, but it's messy to eat. But other than that, the food was really good. The roast beef was great. They have a lovely Christmas tree in the lobby. And one thing that's really nice is they have this concierge over here in the corner. And we just stopped there and got our annual passes activated so we don't have to stand in a long line. Yeah, this was really nice. So here's the pretty lobby that they have. I know I showed a little of it earlier. And they've got this super cute gingerbread house for Christmas. So here's the information on the gingerbread house. 350 pounds of gingerbread. Wow. Hey guys, we are heading into Colonial Williamsburg. It is so cold. So cold. Look at Brian. He's all bundled up. And so we are headed across the street from our hotel. I gotta say, this hotel location is awesome, Brian. Brian booked this hotel. It's really nice. There's the courthouse and the jail. We did this once before. I don't think we're gonna do it this trip. But it's a lot of fun. If you have never been here before, we highly recommend it. You get to participate as part of the jury. There's a pretty cool horse and carriage ride going by. I think that's the governor's palace. And those actually cost extra, but I would say it's well worth it. It's a really neat tour. We are heading to the Everest house today because it is not open tomorrow. And we're only here for two days. I think it's Everard. Everard? Edvard? Yeah. We're not sure how to pronounce it. Definitely not Everest. Not the Everest ride. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading there today because it's the only thing we found that's not open tomorrow but is open today. So we're trying to find that.
we're gonna tour the governor's palace next. We've done this before, but it's been many, many years ago. So from this view, you have a really cool vantage point down through Colonial Williamsburg. Those gentlemen, as we profess in our lodges across this globe, light and open our minds to concerns of mankind across the globe. Reminding us as we attend to religious observance that the sum of all religion is simply to do unto others as we desire to have done unto ourselves, to love our neighbor as we ought to love ourselves. Lastly, lastly, as I have written of Dr. Small, he had a happy talent for communication. He made learning a most enjoyable adventure that we might find humor and wisdom in all things. We just finished listening to Jefferson, and here's the back of the governor's palace. We are down in the cellars underneath the governor's palace. Let's get a bunch of hooch. <laughs> it's very dark. Oh wow, look at that. Poor hooch. We are going to take an official tour of the governor's palace now. We're the first people here. They have an internal bus system here. We need to get to a dining reservation on this side, which is the opposite of where we were at the governor's palace. So now we're at the Capitol building and we think they actually have a free form where you can just walk through at your own pace, which is what we want because we did this tour a few years ago. So we pretty much know the tour. So we just want to walk through. Back side of the port capital, and um, I want to mention if it looks like the footage is dark inside, that's because they don't have any lights, um, and it's getting dark. It's about 4:30 now, and we're we just passed winter solstice, so it's pretty dark out. We have a little bit of time to kill before our dinner reservation, but not tons, so we don't want to start another tour. So we're gonna just see if there's a gift shop nearby to browse through. And if not, we'll head on over to, we're going to, what is it, Christina Campbell's yes. Tavern for dinner. It's, I guess, predominantly seafood, but not exclusively. We are in the gift store and these peanuts crack me up. We got some huzzah peanut mix. You might get some later. You might get some? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> we got the, um, the, the Chesapeake Bay seasoning. Mm. Yeah, you like those. Yeah, you do. Some pretty neat things for each of the taverns in here. Which one are you going to get? They've got all sorts of pickled vegetables. Brian was saying those look tasty. We have been having an awesome, very cold time. <laughs> Uh, luckily, we didn't realize this, but all the buildings are heated to protect the antiques. So well, we don't know about all of them. The ones we've been in. Well, the ones we've been in today. So that's been a welcome respite because it's cold. Uh, the last store we went into, the lady told us it's right around 30 right now, and it's breezy too. But it is sunny-ish. Well, the sun's going down, 
and it's not raining, so I'll take it. We're gonna head to dinner now and see if they'll take a reservation now. Here's the front of Christina Campbell's tavern. <laughs> Pretty sunset over Colonial Williamsburg. Hey guys, this is so dark, I don't think it will show, but here is the menu. It's also available online in case this is too dark to read. So we placed our order now, we're waiting, and it is literally dinner by candlelight. <laughs> like, very literally, there are no lights in here. What'd you say? Uh, of course not. And it was pretty neat. Sorry Brian's blurry, but the lighting is really challenging in here. Um, but the, they had sort of a little show before dinner, which was neat. A little historical information. And they said the men got really drunk before they went to the inn upstairs because they didn't know who they'd be sleeping with. Five to a bed. Most of them hadn't had a bath in three months. Brian's beer just arrived, so do you remember what this is called? Yeah, it's from like old mum, old mum spice something. I don't know. It's like a half a bison. A half a bison? It's a banana. Banana fest? going on there. This is my Washington's Salé. And we got some bread for Brian, <laughs> a big old potatoes. thing of bread. Yeah. And what did you get? Clam what, chowder. Clam chowder, yum. Our food just arrived, here's Brian's. And here's mine. So mine is a ribeye, I know it's hard to see because of the lighting, and Brian's is what was that called? The Fisherman's... Waterman's Supper. Waterman's Supper. She just brought this out and told us it's spoon bread. So I finished my meal here at... We, we heard, we've been saying it wrong the whole time. It's not Christina Campbell's. It was like... What was it? Christiana? Christian? Something like that. Anyway, it was fantastic. I think we both agree. I got the ribeye. It was so good. It's the best steak I've ever had out. Chris, Christiana. Christiana? That's all, right. That's all right. It's good enough. It's hard to see in here. So how was your... What was it called again? Oh, I forget. But was it good? It was all seafood. And he, he said he's so full he can't even eat the dessert it comes with, so he's going to take that to go. But we really enjoyed it. Here's Brian's walnut pie that came with his dinner that he can't eat right now. Not possibly. I mean, that's a big piece of pie. Wow. That was a, that dinner was actually a good deal. I mean, it wasn't cheap but that was a ton of food. It was an appetizer, a huge plate of seafood, and that dessert. It was like 30, 37? 30, 30 yeah, something like that. This is nice. They have some live music in the front. We just got off at our bus stop and we noticed this gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas tree. So we're trying not to fall, as you can see it's really dark. And <laughs> make our way over. It's so pretty. Here we are, looking gorgeous. That's a pretty tree. Yes it is. We're back to our hotel, which is the Williamsburg Lodge. They have this gorgeous tree in the sled. It's really cute. So we're, our building is sort of right over there to the right, but we're gonna go towards the middle to check out the trees that are all lit up for Christmas. Here is the front. That's the lobby through there. They've got it decorated beautifully. We are back on our hallway and we thought we'd share with you some of what we consider unusual artwork. I mean, it's, it's period artwork for a colonial era, but the cat, wow. Well, even the kid. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a boy in a dress. Yeah, it kind of does. Here's the artwork directly outside of our room. More, as Brian would say, creepy kids. Yeah, I just hope tonight they don't leap off the page <laughs> and start running around the halls. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Full step in that. <laughs>